Hi, I'm Jeff Ward, AMGA Instructor Team member. We're roping up on the glacier here, so we need to get our spacing figured out and all, all our tie-ins. Finding the correct spacing between people uh, depends on the type of glacier you, you're on. The bigger the glacier, the bigger the bridges, the farther you're going to want to be apart. The more people you have on the rope though, the closer you can be together. The biggest uh, mistake you can make is being too close together and having one person fall in and pull everyone in. So a general rule, that we can use on cascade size glaciers is you take the number of people on the rope and you subtract that from 10. And that 10 is arm lengths between people. So if I have three people on a rope, I'm gonna have seven arm lengths between each person. Okay, so on this climb here, we have three people. I'm gonna tie the first person in and we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven and we'll have this is our middle person knot gonna use a figure eight here butterfly would be fine as well and we'll go one two three four five six seven this is going to be my knot eventually and then I have all this added rescue rope so as a guide, I'm likely gonna keep this rescue rope with me to give me more options either for belaying uh, or for rescue. If I have a solid person either climbing with friends or solid guests that know how to uh, perform a crevasse rescue, I may put some of this rope on their end. If I'm gonna keep it all with me, I'll probably coil it. So that'll go around my head and around my arm. The other option would be to put this extra rope in my pack. So if I think I need a belay or a short rope, changing the length a lot, I'm gonna keep it handy here. So once I've coiled close to the knot that I've tied, I'm going to tie these coils off. The way I do that is I go through my belay loop and you can see here, I also went through my tie-in, that's fine. All right. Now I'm going to go around all my coils, trapping all these strands, and then I'm going to tie this off. This is a little short, so I'm gonna give myself just a little more. And this is just an overhand wrapped around the load strand. And that'll keep these nice and tight and not falling off my shoulder. Once I have those tied off, if I'm traveling on a glacier, I'm going to tie a knot here. This could be either an overhand or a figure eight. In all reality, it could be a butterfly either. Either of those work. And then I'm gonna clip that to my harness. And the reason I tie this here isn't because I don't trust this knot. It'll just make the load transfer and crevasse rescue much easier.